I'm back again at the same place, different time, my dear friends. I hope you are doing all right around the world. Now, welcome back to another episode of the day where we discuss a lot of things about football. What is going on? It's lovely jubbly news every day, every hour, every second, every moment. It's keep dropping around, man. It's so wonderful, lovely jubbly to see what's happening around the world of football and boy we got this one this one is so good so sweet so brilliant magnificent wonderful sweet uh with all the words you want to put up there because one person everybody they were looking at anton Taylor, referee you see together with mac dean but mac dean i think retire he did something right to retire from the referee because those two guys ah man <laughs> Terrible. One was on a Vieira, one is Lefalin. It's just crazy. If you are witnessing a game, those two are doing it, of like they are managing those games, just go to sleep. Don't watch the game. <laughs> it's going to be terrible. But we got news about Anton Terra, and this is lovely jubbly, as I said. Check out this. Referee Anton Taylor has been demoted to the championship after giving a controversial penalty against Wolves. Whoa, finally, they have made a decision after how many years? Oh my goodness, mate, it's been so long. It's been so long. Justice saved, finally, <laughs> in football. Justice saved. We've been waiting for this for a long, long time, but this doesn't change anything. The Premier League Lifalin is just terrible these days. Everybody's just making decision whatever they want to make. Now there's this rule they want to put. The computer will decide, it will decide if it's offside or if it's a goal. So the referee has to go to the computer just to see what the computer decides. Offside or goal. So there will be no this if you go to Vieira to say, oh, is it so it is offside? Somebody's checking on the Vieira, or he can decide if it's go, if it's offside whatever and sometimes not sometimes every time you have Lifali up there they're just making bad decision and they're just doing it you know for fun some do that it is crazy Anthony Terra is no longer referring in the Premier League down to the championship down to the road man but over there it's not an easy it's not an easy there's so many kids up there and they are so angry <laughs> so he better behave over there he better behave all these mistakes he made. Jose Mourinho will tell you, Rome, this is Sevilla Champions, um, Europa League final champions, right? Where Jose Mourinho lost to the penalties, if I remember. And that was Anton Terra coaching a game. Not coaching, sorry, referring the game. And it was terrible. Jose will tell you that. Jose went outside and talked to Anton Terra in a bad way and swear in all those words. The video is on YouTube if you want to search that one. And Jose Mourinho was banned, I think, or was given a red card, something like that. I think the Premier League and whoever did did all this, I think it's the Premier League because it's in England, right? I think they were just taking all the records and all the errors. I think they're just waiting for a right time at the right place and they just did that. Let me know down in the comment about Anthony Taylor Demote to the championship. is going over there and I don't think it's going to come back to the Premier League. But he may come back if his behavior changed. He may show up again. So let's see what's going to happen. Oh, free. You know, when you show up, everything is changed. Sometimes, man, these people, they have just anger issues and it's just terrible. You cannot take your anger issues in football. As a referee, just, you, have, you just have to be proper. That's it. Now, we got another update on Reese James. Check out this. Chelsea are doing all they can with Rhys James to end his recurring hamstring issues without needs for surgery. But Sherry took a surgical approach to his hamstring problem in May and was sidelined for five months before his return. Now, they are trying to do that with Rhys James because Bad Sherry was gone for a long time and Chelsea helped him. So that hamstring issue won't come back again. He has the same issue and Rhys James, Chelsea looks like they're trying to do that also to help him so he can't have surgery. <sighs> we'll see, we'll see. But Shelly just came back from injury. If he got injured again, then we don't trust that 
new technology they want to do to uh no, to avoid the surgery for wrist gems so let's see what's going to happen hopefully wrist gems is fine and it doesn't need a surgery but but you never know in football you just never know man he has an injury issue we know that you know it's not a new story up here it's old story so let's see what's gonna happen he was fine in a Bradman rovers game he played full 90 minutes did he no 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 he did not i remember oh man <laughs> he did play some minutes and looks fine so let's see what's gonna happen on the tottenham game on monday i forgot i thought tottenham was sunday chelsea tottenham but it's monday night football I'll be waking that one. Hopefully, I will see the second half. Hopefully, I don't know my schedule at work. I'm gonna check that. <laughs> Sorry for that, guys. But yeah, we'll see. We'll see what's gonna happen on that day. It's gonna be very interesting. So the match preview is gonna drop in on Sunday. Sunday morning, the match preview. Chelsea. This is Tottenham. When you look at Angie Postoglu, that's his name, Tottenham manager, the way he's setting up Tottenham, how they are moving the ball, how they are playing. There's blueprint in there of Angie Postoglu and Tottenham, they're great. And Angie Postoglu said something, he's like, you don't need to spend a lot of money to get uh, players to play good football, you know. You don't have to do that. You just have to have a plan. You have a plan in your uh, mind that okay i want my team play this and this and this in a certain way and you you get your team play like that and he's doing it at tottenham tottenham as i said yesterday they're doing good they're playing good football champagne football and this time they look different i have to say i have watched tottenham this is chelsea or this is other team for a long long time now and they look different they look absolutely different and it's very scary. It's very scary. Yeah. <laughs> so Monday is going to be very, very interesting one. Yesterday there was a news about Harlan Lamsdale to Chelsea for 50 million. And I was like, what? And I said yesterday, we need a striker. You know, we need to hear about the striker option right now, not the goalkeeper. For my idea, I think the goalkeeper issue there, I don't think... Sanchez is lavish as I said yesterday guys. We just need a top striker right now who can ban goals. If we do that, I think we'll be fine. So we got an update on uh, Alan Lansdale. Here it is. Alan Lansdale is not currently on Chelsea list as a potential new goalkeeper. That's from Fabricio Romano. I was very surprised. If that's true, then good stuff. But you never know later in the window when it's open this thing can go up again. Oh, Chelsea, they're still interested in them still. <laughs> so it's crazy, but yeah, it's up to Chelsea to decide. If they want a goalkeeper, Chelsea can do that. Tobori can do that. That's their club. That's their Chelsea football club. We ask, we're just the fans to support it, right? It is what it is. So let me know down in the comment, what do you think about all these guys? I will see you soon for a brand new one. Subscribe to Isaac Football Club and don't forget that notification. It's so important. I will see you soon. Let me know down about Anthony Taylor going down to the championship. Lovely juggling news. I feel bad for the championship side. Really, really bad. But they have to deal with it. <laughs> so guys, I will see you. And God bless.